What's up guys, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have some interesting news about the iOS 9.3.x including iOS 9.3.5 jailbreaking. So let's go straight into the information. Now if you remember the fried apple team, we talked about them uh, in a couple of videos, uh, they were working on an iOS 9.3.5 and 9.3.x jailbreak. Now, they're a fully established team and they are really a team of jailbreakers, not just some random kids that made a Twitter account to pretend they're a team we know others. Uh, and um, yeah, they've been working on this and now it's confirmed that they are going to present this uh, jailbreaking method and this jailbreaking thing that they've been working on at the uh, Black Hat. So I'm going to show you in here on Black Hat Asia 2017, they're going to have a talk and it says fried apples jailbreak DIY. So uh, in this talk, apparently uh, by reading the description, you can easily find that they're going to talk about a specific untethered 9.x to 9.3.x jailbreak and here it's included the iOS 9.3.5. Now what's the difference between the tried and exploit jailbreak and this jailbreak that they are working on? Well at first it is untethered. What means untethered? For those of you who are new on the iOS, uh, the um, untethered era might not have been in your hands, but the untethered jailbreaks are basically the jailbreaks you install once on the device and then the device remains jailbroken up until, I don't know, you restore it on iTunes. So you do not have to sideload any IPA using CDI Impactor once um, at every seven days, for example. And if you reboot the device, the jailbreak has jailbreak persistence, which means it is not going to get removed or you don't have to open an application every time to jailbreak. That's pretty much what a, uh, an untethered jailbreak does. They're very powerful and they haven't been around um, ever since iOS 9.x, I think. Pangu started the first jailbreak for iOS 9.x that was semi-untethered and that required CDI Impactor. I think that was for iOS 9.0.1, 9.0.2, or something uh, on these lines. So they are going to present something about the iOS 9.3.x and it's going to be untethered. That's pretty cool, especially because we know Black Hat is something real. Black Hat is something um, really important in the um, hacking community and this team is proven to be a real iOS developers team. So uh, we're speaking here about three different men. This and the, this and this, and they're, um, they're security researchers, so this will be a pretty interesting thing to discuss about. Um, here on their page, Black Hat also said that um, one of the members from the uh, Fried Apple team and this guy from here share Fried Apple team's process in making untethered, so untethered, 9.0 to 9.3.x jailbreak with various tools. So they're going to talk about not only how to jailbreak this, but also how, how it's created, how it's built, how it is put in place. And we're speaking here about ROP gadgets, we're speaking about kernel patching, like, um, I don't know, bypassing KPP or kernel patch protection, and um, I don't know, running arbitrary code, uh, privilege escalation, and so on. Everything that is required in order to exploit the iOS and get access to the device to jailbreak it. So it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, talk. I think it's going to also be posted on YouTube. Usually the Black Hat um, talks are posted on YouTube as videos after they, uh, they're made. So it's going to be pretty interesting. But the more interesting thing about um, the jailbreak is that they might release the thing. Well, it would, it would be pointless to demo something and how to do something without releasing the tools or something, you know. Uh, and we should probably get it by March. As you can see, Black Hat Asia 2017 is going to be held March 28 to 31. 2017 and this is going to be next month. This is pretty cool but I have some bad news as well. Vladimir Putin, yes not the president of Russia, one of the uh, team members from Fried Apple team uh, said on uh, his Twitter, uh, quote, I have no idea will it be possible to make 32-bit support on 9.3.5 soon. For iOS 9.x under 9.3.5 use Trident forks, end quote. Now what this means is that the uh, 9.3.5 might not be 32-bit. Now it might or might not. He didn't confirm it's definitely not going to happen, but he said he has no idea if it's going to be uh, done up until the event on the Black Hat. So uh, we still need to wait and probably get 
get information from fried apple team um, here on their Twitter. I'm going to link their Twitter in the description down below. Go ahead and follow them. They're really a legit uh, Apple developers team and jailbreakers. So it's definitely a good source of information if you're interested in 9.x jailbreak. Now, some of you might uh, want to ask me, what's the point of making a 9.x jailbreak, even untethered? Well, you will be surprised to know how many devices are still running iOS 9.x in a way of jailbreaking. And... Um, some of the devices are really forced to stay on 9.x just because they can't update. For example, the iPod Touch 5th um, generation isn't supporting iOS 10. The iPhone uh, 4S isn't supporting iOS 10. Uh, some iPads aren't supporting the iOS 10, so they are stuck with iOS 9.3.5. Now, unless Apple will release a, uh, an a emergency update to patch uh, fried Apple Team's jailbreak, once that is released, then um, that kind of that range of devices that are supported will probably be jailbroken for a life. The exact same scenario that happened on the iPhone 4. So that's going to be a big achievement to have an iPhone 4S because I, I assume that at some point they will be able to add 9.3.5 support to 32-bit devices. That's not, that's not pretty bad and that's, that's not pretty hard to implement for a team well established as fried apple team. So uh, that would mean a lot of things for the jailbreaking and that would mean a lot of things for these deprecated devices that were dropped when iOS 10 was released. So um, this is pretty much it guys, I really wanted to let you know about fried apple team, about black hat event where they will be talking about jailbreaking and they will demo the untethered one and yeah this is pretty cool as this will be the first untethered jailbreak in a long while. So yeah this is basically it, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens on the jailbreaking and till the next time if you love this video give it a thumb up, if you don't give it a thumb down, tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about this and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>